my name is Laura, this is my channel Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's super exciting announcement video. So as you could probably tell from the title of this video, I am announcing my spooky season spectacular. So last year I did this whole big thing just kind of for myself and I called it my spooky extravaganza and that was a lot of fun but I decided that this year I wanted to make it more community friendly so that if anyone wanted to join me they can and I changed it to the spooky season spectacular because I like alliteration in case you couldn't tell I really much like alliteration so it's going to be called the spooky season spectacular I have added and made some tweaks from last year, so I it is a whole new thing that I'm super excited to share with you. All the information will be down in the description below, but it will be taking place starting on September 12th and going all the way through October 31st. So it is very long, but I made it to try and be as open as it can be because I know that so many people have all different kinds of readathons and other various reading things in October especially as we get closer to Halloween so I tried to make it as open as possible so it can be compatible with other readathons and community activities basically what I did last year is I gave a theme to each week leading up to Halloween following various Halloween themes like vampires, werewolves, witches, ghosts, etc. and so forth. And I just challenged myself to read, I think my goal was to read three books per week for the theme. But this year I will challenge myself to do the same thing but you can do something completely different. So I've decided that each week still has a theme. I've actually added a week this year and I've added a theme which is why it's so long. And so it, with it starting September 12th, I'm sorry this announcement is going up super late. Uh, so feel free to promote the heck out of it if you want, but you can join in at any time. It is a point system though. So basically how this is going to work is there are three tiers. So the first tier is the trick or treater tier and you need 50 points in order to be considered in that tier. The middle tier is the Goblin King or Goblin Queen if you want, tier, and for that one you need at least 300 points to get to, and then your top tier is going to be the ruler of the underworld, emperor of the underworld, whatever you want, ruler of the dead things, and that is going to take 500 points to reach. So as I mentioned, each week has a theme, and there will be one group book every week. So if you read the book that is set as the group book that week, you will gain 75 points. However, for every other book you read in the week that relates to the theme, that will be 25 points. So in order to get to the trick or treater tier, you could either you could either read one group book and you're already there or you could read two non-group books and get into the tier. Otherwise, you could also read a group book and a non-group book and you'll be way past <laughs> enough points in order to get into the trick-or-treater tier. I'm going to go through all the weeks, say what their theme is and what the group book is, and then I will clarify a few things at the end and that'll be everything. So the first week, September 12 through 18, is the werewolves. And for this one, the group book is going to be A Wolf for a Spell. This is a kind of Russian folklore inspired retelling with werewolves and Baba Yaga. September 19, through 25 is vampires and the group book for this would be the coldest touch it is a queer romance with the coldest touch the vampire who i believe can see futures of people until they meet someone that they can't then september 26 through october 2 is dark academia and for this we will be reading my dearest darkest by kayla cunningham this came out this past spring and again it is another queer dark academia where our main characters might resurrect some sort of demon or someone in the basement and have to do a bunch of things. Just make sure you look up the trigger warnings. I'm not sure if there are any um, possibly for like bodily horror, but just keep that in mind. October 3 through 9, the theme is witches and the group book for this one will be Spells Trouble. This is a more historical like witchy Salem type book. October 10 through 16 is Ghosts. The Bucky Reed 
is going to be The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. And this is a little bit more of a lighter, it's not quite as dark and spooky. I didn't want all the books to be dark and spooky in case that's not your vibe, but basically we have a struggling writer who goes to her dad's funeral and starts seeing ghosts, including her new editor. October 17 through 23 is the new theme that I've added this year and that is haunted houses or haunted living spaces because if you want to do like haunted apartment buildings that's also fine but the group book for this one is White Smoke by Tiffany D. Jackson. I have heard that this was such an amazing haunted house story so I decided that I needed to give it a try. Then our final week will be October 24 through the 31st all the way up through Halloween and that theme is thrillers, classic thrillers. And the group book for this one will be Daisy Darker. This is by Alice Feeney. This is an isolation thriller. Everyone goes to an island to celebrate Nana's 80th birthday and then Nana is found dead. So those are all the group books. If you read any of those within the week that they are set, you will gain 75 points. And once you hit 300, you can move up to the Goblin King tier. And when you hit 500, you can move up to the ruler of the underworld. Um, one thing I want to clarify is that there are a lot of books that have multiple uh, characters or instances that can fit multiple themes. You can only count a book once. You can only count the book for the week that you read it in. For example, if you read a book with both werewolves and vampires. If you read it in the werewolf week, it only counts as 25 points towards the werewolves. You wouldn't be able to count it again for vampires. I will be creating a discord and I will have the link down below in this video for you to join. We, we can talk about the uh, group books every week. We can also give each other recommendations for other books to fit these themes. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like this spectacular that I've put together. Uh, let me know down below if you'll be participating. If you need any recommendations, feel free to ask me. Or if you have any questions, I would love to clear them up for you in the comments. If you like this or will be participating, participating, also feel free to give it a thumbs up as well so that I know that you're interested in it. I have bookish media, social media down below. I'm not doing any social media prompts just because a lot of other readathons do social media prompts and this spectacular is so long like it's seven weeks long it's kind of crazy personally I will be weekly vlogging for it and at the beginning of each vlog I'll let you know my TBR I will again I will be reading the group book as well as hopefully two other books that fit the theme of the week so feel free to subscribe so that you can see all of those vlogs when they go up I normally post on Sundays and Wednesdays I think that is everything, so thank you so much for watching, and until I see you all in the next video, happy reading!